Okay, I bought these Meyer Gauge Company South Windsor, Connecticut model M1 Plus. Um, normally these are pretty spendy, but this was $20 plus shipping. The shipping was $30, so that sucked. Um, but they're pretty old. I don't know when this is dated, like seriously. But, uh, you know, somebody... Throughout the time and age, they uh, ultimately kept all of the pins, minus a few, uh, in pretty good shape. And um, the reason it was 20 bucks is it's missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pins, 12 maybe. And uh, I'm okay with that because, again, if I have 2, 3, 7, and 2, 3, 4, and I really need the one that's in between, I'll... I'll figure it out. Same thing here, 215 and 213. Um 199 again, 200. That's a that's a pin that's commonly used. And um for 20 bucks, it's like what a what a smoking deal. Uh it came with a little decimal equivalent chart that has um you know, uh the fractional value and its decimal equivalent, um which is really quite cool. Um it looks like the foam was printed. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it was, um, but it almost looks engaged, like, uh, not engaged, but like, a like, a, 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 like it's on the surface of, of, of the styrofoam. Um, but there's no, you know, other than, um, you know, there's no fixed number or anything, how it divides, but it like zigzags. Um, I think it's zigzags, 32. Yeah, it had zigzags and then it gets bigger. Then it gets bigger, 77. So here it goes backwards, like a row goes backwards. So you're 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 kind of doing a zigzag to find the one you want. Um so I found that kind of interesting. Um 20 bucks. What a score. Uh, what do you need gauge pins for? Um here, let me just just find a, uh, you know, you can use calipers to a certain point to find a certain hole size, but these ones are so small. Let's say I wanted to find this this hole size here. What I would do is I'd I'd fit a pin and I'd be like, no, that's um, that's that's too thin, uh, or not thin enough. This one fits through, right? So it's somewhere in between those two pins. Uh, not that I'm going to show you go, but going back and forth and back and forth. And um, the stuff that I deal with is, you know, just super tiny. Um, you can't put calipers in to measure that. So what you do is you put the pin in um, and you find the right pin and then you go, okay, that's, that's the whole size. A really expensive version of this would be somewhere in the, I don't know, 500 dollar range um you can get cheaper ones for 100 bucks 200 bucks uh but again i like this is somebody's used kit uh 20 bucks missing a few pieces still gonna do me a lifetime uh the day i need that 140 or that 92 or that 197 i'll uh you know put uh put some money towards the lottery <laughs>